Okay, this is Nelha again, and I would like to make a follow-up regarding this uh, road lighting design calculation that we just did a while ago. Because I want to make a clarification that if I stand by with the contractor, I would rather have a efficient design and economical design for the road lighting. So this previous design what the, that we did is uh, for a 1,000 meter length road and if you divide this um, 10 meter spacing pole you will have 100 pieces of pole lights with 6 meter height but in the contractor's point of view it is very costly because you will also have 100 pieces of luminaire so how are we going to reduce the cost in the road lighting design is by adjusting the luminaire quantity and the poles either in the height or in the quantity also this is just my road lighting design solution for this project so since the client said that they ha they already established a 10 meter spacing if it's my project i will suggest best design which they they will have uh, lesser expenses so for this one, we have 10 meter spacing and then 10 meter wide road. So if I will be lighting designer on the side of the contractor, this is what I will do. So let's go first for the conventional metal halide. So, okay, I will change this one into, because we did the design calculation using 6 meters, I will change this one now into, let's say, 10. The objective of this video is to create a solution where the contractor will lessen the expenses. Okay, and then the pole distance, I will optimize it. I will click this one. So we can have a maximum of, let's say, 25 meters spacing. So if we did that, and the boom angle, let's make it only 5 degree. And the overhang, let's make it uh, 0.5. Okay, it will be the same. The overhang doesn't look like 0.5. Let's go and measure this one. Go to the W and measure it. This is 2 meters, so it's wrong. Uh -huh. Okay, I found out now how to adjust the boom length and also the offset of the luminaires from the road. What I did is I put a negative light overhang, which is 1 meter, and then... I make the boom length as 0.5 as what I want and let's measure it again and it said yeah it's close now to the 0.5 which is the correct one and now you can see that the luminaire is still on the uh, the pole is still on the path walk and now because it's now offsetted from the road line into negative one I think we need to tilt it into 10 degrees and let's see if this metal halide of how many watts? 90 watt can still uh, comply with the requirements. Let's run it now. And let's check the output. And it's negative. It says the, the uh, candela per square meter is not enough. So it means we need to increase the wattage of the luminaire. But um, the, the other parameters are okay. They're all checked. So let's replace the luminaire into the original design, which is the 140 watt metal halide. So apply. Parameters still the same, 25 meter spacing. And then, yeah, it looks okay. So we achieved the lux value. It's 0.83 and... Um, 0.75 this spacing is 25 meters long what if we made it 30 let's go and check because if we make it 30 then maybe ah okay so if you make it 30 then um, the candela will be not enough but this is 140 watt 
what if we increase the what is again into maybe 150 watt or maybe 250 or 250 watt metal halide so it depends so if you divide the 1000 into 25 meter spacing it will be how much is that you will have 40 poles and 40 luminaires now compared to the 100 before so I think for the contractor side, it is very good. Actually, it's very good. So if they compare it, like we have previously six meter high pole, but this time it is 10 meters high, they will now check if the 10 meters compared to the six meter has a huge difference in pricing. So it still depends. It also again depends on the pricing of the pole. But in, in terms of the luminaire, it's not that too much that if you increase the lumen output or the, the, the wattage of the luminaire, it will also increase the price. It's not always happen like that. Well, it's, it's only in our uh, luminaire range because it will be the same materials, everything. It's only that um, it might add more, but not that almost twice or yeah, of the price of the uh, from the lower wattage so yeah how about the LED let's go and check the LED so if you go here now and uh, click the LED side so we will again uh, replace okay let's play this one first let's make it 25 spacing also you know, if you have a nice optic of LED luminaire, you can increase the spacing of the pole into 40 to 45 meters. It depends. Actually, it depends on the height, but you can still go for that, especially if it's a major highway. So I increased the spacing into 25 meter spacing, 20 meter spacing of the pole, and then I increased the height of the pole into 10 meters, from 6 meters to 10 meters. And then again, I will change the boom length or the overhang length into negative 1. And then again, I will make the boom length into 0.5. Okay, so now it's in the straight line. And yeah. And let's see. Again, the candela is not perfectly achieved. So we need to increase the lumen output or the wattage of the luminaire. So replace the luminaire again into the original LED which is I think this is 90 90 watt and then apply and yes it's good you can see now here it's all checked what if we increase it into 30 meters distance of spacing of the pole now it's negative so I think up to 28 it can go for yeah this is 28 meter spacing and what if I I increased the boom angle into 10 no it's not it's not good so it should be 5 degrees only how about in the conventional can we make it 28 also let's go and try yep still okay now it's 75 75 so both the luminaires the LED and the conventional metal halide will uh, go up to 28 meter spacing so if you divide the 1000 into 28 meter pole it's you can only have 36 35.7 or 30, 36 pieces of poles and luminaires that's a good thing for the contractors so again if you can also play with the optics because some of some some of the luminaires have this kind of optic that can spread wide into the road then you can also play that one so yeah, for now, I think in the contractor side, it's much better for them to have 36 pieces of poles and luminaires with an increased height of 10 meters uh, compared to the 10 meter spacing of uh, poles because you will have uh, 100 pieces of luminaires and poles. But this one, this new design, it can only have 36 pieces of poles and 36 pieces of luminaires. So, yeah, road lighting is a little tricky also because you need to play a different uh, optics of the fitting, also the wattages, and also sometimes the types of the lamp. 
and also you should understand that uh, the road lighting has different classifications maybe I can discuss later what are those road classifications because not all um, roads are similar for example in Dubai or in the Middle East region the asphalt asphalt that they are using for road is different from um, wet countries or cold countries and uh, we should understand that one actually most of the consultant knows what they want because I think they are because most of them are following the standards or the government standards for road lighting because most of the road lighting projects are from the government so uh, they should follow the guidelines so okay um, this is the follow-up and if you have more questions just uh, send me a message or comment on the video that I am creating. Thank you and good night.